Hi guys and welcome to another Watch Geek video and another unboxing. This time it's another new piece from Spinnaker. So let's open it up and see what we got. Let's cut the package with my trusty shearing scissors that everyone makes fun of. Inside we have this cardboard box that's again been packed up pretty well. The scissors really have no problem with that. And there we go. For a life beneath, beyond and beside the sea. So it's clearly a dive model. It's actually the new Croft model. I already featured the Spinnaker Croft on my channel and I liked the watch but because it had those broad easy to read hands and those large markers but the watch was simply too big at 43 millimeters by I believe 51. Well they finally answered my prayer and made one in a smaller size. This I believe is the second model from Spinnaker where they offer a big one and a smaller version of the same size. So this is called the Croft Midsize. So let's open the box and see how it looks. And to be honest, it looks pretty epic. The box is very much like the one from the Help for Heroes. So I'm glad they switched to this. It looks a lot better than those old boxes and it kind of gives a splash of color. So here's the watch on the pillow which is made out of this foam and it's pretty hard and here's the watch pretty cool so it's a Croft I already featured the Croft and like I said I liked the watch but it was definitely too big that was 43 this is a 40 millimeter watch I don't know the lug to lug but I believe it's gonna be about 48 or something like that and it is quite thick which I believe was gonna this is probably gonna be about 13 millimeters but I'll have all the dimensions ready for the review because this is just the unboxing and first impressions now please give me a minute to unwrap this because this really looks bad on camera when I try to do it so I'll see you in a minute and here we go. So I managed to tackle the protective film and the protective plastics and finally we can see the watch in its full beauty. It is a beautiful watch and I went for the blue dialed blue bezel version. There are naturally going to be a lot of other uh, variants as well. It is a Croft, like I said I already featured it on the channel but this one has been slightly refined. So you have an all brushed finish which is my favorite type of finish as it keeps away the scratches but you do get these uh, polished bevels to give it a bit of flair. The bezel insert is aluminium while the crystal is sapphire and these are the hands and the dial that I liked on the original Croft. They're very large, thick and easily readable. The watch comes with 150 meters of water resistance and the screwing crown that helps it to achieve it. It comes with hacking, so I believe this is a Seiko NH35, but don't, me, don't hold me up for it, I'll have all that ready for the review. I also don't know what the prices are gonna be because I'm recording this before the launch, although the, watch, the video is gonna be published after the launch. But I'll put the links in the description and naturally as always with Spinnaker watches you can use my uh, WatchGeek20 uh, uh, discount code to get 20% off the watch and I do get commission for that. So in other words you get a watch at a discount and you help the channel. So if you want to use that I'll leave that in the description as well. The watch itself is pretty cool. Like I said the original one was 44, they dropped it to 40 which should make it perfect for my 6.7 inch wrist. But let's try the bezel first which is very sloped as you can see and I really like the look. It looks kind of vintage because of that and then you have the sapphire crystal going on top of that. And it does come with this cyclops and I like the fact it's a perfect round cyclops instead of the usual square. So I really do like that. So let's put it on my wrist to see how it looks but before like I said let's try the bezel. It's 120 clicks and it's pretty impressive. Wow. Okay. It is kind of, I mean, it's easy to grab, but it would have been easier if it didn't have this slope. But it's not a deal breaker. You can still 
easily grab it. I don't know how it's going to act. I mean, how it's going to behave once you have your gloves. It's probably going to be slightly harder. But given that this looks like a dressy diver, I'm okay with that. And I really do like the design of this slope. So it's a compromise that I'm willing to accept. Okay, so let's put it on my wrist. And like I said, my wrist is 6.7 inches. The bracelet is a solid link bracelet with solid end links and it comes with a milled out clasp with a safety latch and a double trigger release. Naturally, this hasn't been sized for my wrist. So as you can see, it's quite large, but we'll just pretend like this and see how it looks on my 6.7 inch wrist. And as you can see, a 40 millimeter diver with definitely what appears to be a lug to lug of 47 or 48 is pretty much perfect for my 6.7 inch wrist when it comes to divers. I usually wear smaller watches, but when it comes to divers, I'm okay with this size. The watch doesn't have any lug guards, giving it that vintage vibe. And overall, I do like it. It does have that grainy spinnaker dial. They always do these kind of dials and the spinnaker seems to be applied as well as the numerals. Now this blue and gold really goes well together, as you might have guessed, given how Rolex does it. Okay, let's charge the loom, see how it glows and wrap this video. And like I said, stay tuned for the full review. Well, I have details on the, on the specs, on the dimensions and on the price. Although I do believe the price is gonna be somewhere between three and four hundred dollars as per the regular 43 millimeter craft okay let's zoom in let the camera focus and turn off the light there and the loom is pretty outstanding as you would expect and i do love the fact they only loomed the pip on the bezel I sometimes do like when you can see a loomed bezel, but 90% of the time I like it like this because when I'm reading my watches in the dark, I just want to tell the time. Any additional functions are pretty much unnecessary. So loomed bezels to me are just a distraction from reading the basic information. So I always prefer these types of bezels, but sometimes if a watch is pretty cool or if the bezel is pretty cool with the rest of the design, I'm okay with a loomed bezel as well. Anyway, so that's it. I, like I said, this is just the unboxing and first impressions and I do like the watch. I love these hands because they're long. Look, look at the minute hand. It goes all the way to the edge. They're broad, they're easy to read and the markers as well. So as usual, stay tuned for the full review. Thank you for watching. If you found this useful, please like and subscribe. And until the next video, bye.